Jojo has fun. Ugh. Welcome back to Jojo has fun, guys. Uh, so last time Kim's here. Hey. Hey, Kim. What? Greg Handsome wants to know if you have some news. Nope. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm not gonna play it that way. Okay. <laughs> you sure? Um. Yeah. So. Come remember- on! <laughs> oh my god, you can do that! Yeah, we do all kinds that of cool shit! <laughs> okay, so remember uh, how a lot of the time we talk about our friends on Facebook who are pieces of shit, um, who like to make big, grand announcements about shit that doesn't matter and nobody cares about? Hell yeah, I do, Kim. It's a cornerstone of both our friendship and this show. <laughs> so, um... Hang on, before we, before we talk, I just want to point out... Um, so this is a new play session, and uh, during the week, Jeff was leveling up Greg Handsome oh, for what, me. Oh, what Jeff? What, Twitter Jeff? Twitter Jeff, yeah. Oh. And uh, here's the thing I didn't know. He didn't get me any more fucking bullets. So I'm just running through this area without a gun. So Yeah, thanks. well, you're stronger than you were, though. I'm way stronger, actually. It's pretty yeah. sweet. Go on, Cam. Sorry. Oh, uh, I don't know. I just don't like the word. <laughs> what word? I handsome? <laughs> no, not <laughs> handsome. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I haven't found a way to say it that doesn't make me feel like sick and gross yet. Okay. Um, Kim. Can we have euphemisms? We have a playful euphemism. Kim has a baby in her uterus. Wait, oh, wait. see, that's, <laughs> that's not gross at all. You know, it's a euphemism because I said wink, wink. Oh. <laughs> that's the rule. Oh, it's a euphemism when you wink, wink? Oh, okay. yeah, it is. Well, wink, wink. Uh, <laughs> I've got a fetus the size of an orange <laughs> that's pushing on all of my vital organs <laughs> and making it so anytime I eat, <laughs> I bloat like a disgusting balloon. <laughs> Occasionally, I think Oops. I'm fine. Oh, and you landed. You're fine. Um, I'm actually not. This is not a good place to be. Oh. Um, so yeah, you have, a, you have, yeah. A, you have a, a, as they say, a, a boon in the oven. Yeah, as, that's as what they say. They the say a boon say. in the oven. Yep, they do. And where did they? Did they say that in like fucking Nova Scotia? Like, <laughs> uh, they well, not Nova Scotia proper, but like the boon the, part. The of Dutch. Nova Sco- the Dutch say that. Well, the douche say it. Oh my god! Not the Dutch. The Dutch. The Dutch are just like. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so you you guys have known about this for quite some time. We have. We've been we've been keeping the secret. Yeah. Well, because we needed to make sure it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> You're a monster. The odds are so high with me, okay? <laughs> because I assume that like, when you have a baby, you share your IQ with that baby. Well, that makes sense. It's I have an IQ genes. of like 49. Well, you, so wear it, you wear it. I mean, you wear it pretty well. I really, I, yeah. And so, like, you wear I, it on the side most days and it works. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to have to edit this episode. Yeah, just like cut out the R word. Oh, you know it. That's how we do it. We have to make sure that the baby's not blank. Uh, I could have said anything. I could have said a girl. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man! Well, that's awesome, man. I'm glad we could. I'm glad it's uh, it's uh, you got got it knocked up. Yeah, it's got like an appropriately sized neck. That's the thing that they were really concerned about. Like everybody wants to know. Yeah, it's a normal size neck, but it's got all chins. Well, that's because it's my baby. That's what you want. Yeah. That's absolutely like what you want. Heavy on the chin. Okay, charred, charred, um, charred, and I'll wear the top hat for now. Yeah, the top hat's nice. I need to get. I need to get like a real helmet. Does the top hat protect you in any way? It actually does. So the top hat protects me against crushing damage <laughs> because it's a top hat. <laughs> Good for it. I know it's doing good. It's doing real good. So that that was the thing we needed. I needed new armor. Okay. And now, oh god. Oh, something's getting you. Yeah, there's a hunter. Oh, something's getting there's you. There's a fucking hunter down there. He's a real dick. So I, I kind of blazed through our playthrough, so okay. it's like we were. That's fine. A little behind in terms of like strength. Yeah. But now I think. Yeah, you're supposed to like slowly work your way up. And you know, just that's, like that's what I'm discovering through. as I as I I've, I've replayed Bloodborne, and I'm like, yeah, I kind of went too fast. Yeah, uh, we were really proud of how quickly we made progress, and then we and died then I, and, and then died I didn't realize like Bloodborne's not that kind of game. Yeah. It's a kind of game where where short incremental progress is the name of the game. And uh, ooh, we uh, going to see I that lady? Which <laughs> well, the the doll. Yeah. She's a real doll. She's a real doll. I love her. She's my favorite. She says such positive things. And look at that. Look at that hat. 
she's she's very Dutch looking. I know she would say. I actually she- don't really know a lot about the Dutch. I'm just like really pushing a lot of stereotypes on the Dutch right now <laughs> <laughs> about their clothes and their language. <laughs> I know my grandmother was Dutch, so I'm assuming the Dutch are very small and they love to smoke cigarettes. Hell yeah, they are. That's that's what I know about the Dutch. There's that hat. Oh hey. Yeah. Now I, now I look like your an, face. Now I look like an actual hunter. So now yeah, I can yeah. get. Oh wait, there's a different hat I can get. Sorry, this that's is what the, I need to do. I need to like go to a well full of children with their arms hanging out and, and just get, and get buy stuff. Yeah, I just <laughs> I really this is my this is a good idea for shopping. You know what? I want this hat. Actually, I want this suit. So I'm just you can just. How much money do you have? Well, this is insight. Insight. So, uh, you, whenever you f- see a boss, like a scary boss, you yeah. get insight. Oh. Which, uh, you don't even have to beat them. You just see them. Just see them. Well, beating them gets you more. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the other hat that I like. But now you have like one fucking eye, so your depth perception's all compromised. Hell that's yeah. great. Oh my god! Can we talk about the weather? Kim. It's so nice. <laughs> I want you to know, Kim, that as soon as you said, let's talk about the weather, I realized this is going to be a fantastic episode yeah, of our show. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, let's just stick to the important stuff. You got it's it. It's like 70 degrees right now. It's so I wore nice. a sweater here, so I was real comfy. Hell and I yeah, get to wear were. pants. And the inside of my pants, fleecy. Oh, you're, 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 living, you're living one, if not all, of the dreams. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. California... At 70 degrees is probably the best place on Earth. Oh, yeah. It makes Disneyland look like garbage. The fear of total nuclear apocalypse aside, uh, it is pretty nice to be here. Okay, total nuclear apocalypse is a little extreme. Okay, you're right, you're right. Partial nuclear... Localized. They're not going to bomb Yellowstone. No. (laughs) It's quite nice. They have... What is it? Is it... Bears? No, what's that big... What's that big mountain? What's the name of the big mountain? It's not El Chapo. Shasta? El Capitan. El Captain. The Captain. <laughs> the Captain. I love the Captain. Yeah. Oh, Captain, my Capitan. Hey, hey. Beautiful. Who dat? It sure is. Who the mm. fuck is that? that? Curtsy. That is Ariana, the uh, prostitute. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, there just aren't enough prostitutes around these days. No, I mean, none that I know. I don't know a single prostitute. Really? I don't think so. Man, we should. Uh, I oh. feel like that's. Is that a class issue? Should I like be like? Should you know? Should more I prostitutes? be like spreading my social circle to meet more prostitutes? I mean, because they all seem to have hearts of gold. <laughs> <laughs> that's the story, anyway. I I've never seen a prostitute. In, I mean, like in the Bible, heart of gold, prostitute. Hell yeah. Mary Magdalene. Mary Mag- Magdalene. Mary yeah. Mag, heart of gold. Yeah. Totally great prostitute. I don't even know. Like, you, it's weird. You probably know a prostitute, but then don't know that they're a prostitute. You think so? Well, now I'm going to be suspicious of everyone I meet. Like, so, so just just anyone. Cha-cha, who ta- are you a prostitute? Cha-cha. Cha-cha. How'd you, how'd you afford that nice whiskers? <laughs> Your beautiful green eyes. You you can you can be honest with us. Cha cha. We are not judging. We are we are very positive about it. Don't drink my coffee. Don't drink my coffee. The don't cats drink don't coffee. drink coffee. He might. There's a lot of sweet cream in this. And if I know anything about cats, they love sweet cream. They love it. And it's Italian sweet cream, so you know it's good. That's right. It tastes like it tastes like delicious. I've never had a K cup before. Oh really? This, this is, is your first K cup. First K cup. See, we- I am a white woman. <laughs> uh, so I was actually equipped with K cups the minute they were invented. <laughs> we had we had one of those what a Keurig machines and it broke after like three months Ooh. and they, and it was when they were like super ridiculously expensive. We got it as a gift. Yeah. Um, which when you give someone a a Keurig as a gift, you're really just saying here's this thing that's going to cost you tons of money. It's like giving someone a puppy. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, <laughs> what. Well, how Someone much is it to use this thing? Oh, it's, it's it'll save you so much money. It's only $3 a cup of coffee if you get, uh, price out the cups right. Yeah. And you're like, what? Wait, what? I'll expect to see it every time I come to visit, which yeah. now is going to be all the time. Yeah. And then you're fucked, dude. You're f- like right now, Jeff just made us all coffee. It yeah. cost him like $45. Yeah. 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 Which, here's the real question, Kim. How's he affording all this I coffee? don't know. You know what? Maybe. Are you are you the prostitute? <laughs> are you the one we know, Jeff? The b- <laughs> <laughs> That's like, uh, have you ever seen the statistics for herpes? One in four? Yeah, it's like one in four American people, Americans, so have herpes. 
There's four of us in here. Yeah. And we've already established that Jeff's the prostitute. <laughs> but I, bet, I, I don't know. I bet he practices. You bet he's safe. Stuff. Yeah. He's a safe one. I like. I have like a lot of contact with herpes, but I get tested pretty frequently. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I do currently. Well, I mean, you can only hope. You can you can only hope the bald baby's not going to come out like. Rrr. Oh, it's that's. I got an itchy face. There are so many, so many different kinds of herpes, though. Really? Oh yeah. How many are there? A seven. Really? Yeah. I didn't there's, know, uh, I did there's. Not, I thought there was just the, the simplex, zoster, and then uh, five others that are less common. Oh wow! Yeah. Are any of them deadly? Well, yeah, if they go to your brain. Well, that's true of most things. Yeah. You know, like uh, thoughts of family aren't deadly until they go to your brain. Yeah. When you're right. when you're trying to have a good time on a Wednesday, and then bam, there you that go. Reminds me, how is your mom doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, she's fine. She's probably fine. Yeah, I'm sure she is. <laughs> okay, I think uh, I may have missed this Come event, here, cha -cha. but if I didn't, oh shit, I did. What'd you miss? Oh man, that's not good. Um, oh my god, did you guys hear the meow that Cha Cha just made? That was pretty. It cute. was. It was such a good classic meow. It Wh it meowed. It's a, it's 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 doing its best as a kitty. And, it did uh, not touch me at all. It just jumped over me, leaped over me with a single bound. Well, I mean, cats are agile. Yeah, Cha Cha, you're agile. Cats are argyle. They have a pretty fancy pattern that looks great in socks. It does look good in socks. I bet Cha Cha would look great in socks. <laughs> <laughs> cats hate when you put stuff on their feet. Yeah, they do. I actually knitted these mittens for my cats once, and I got them as far as on their paws, and then they stood up. And shook them both off at the same time standing. It was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. Aww. And so now we have to use them on the Christmas tree as like little fake stockings because I worked so hard on those fucking mittens <laughs> and the cats <laughs> will not wear them. It'd be a waste to not use them. Yeah, I had I knitted I actually I should try them on orange cat. I they were for gray cat originally. Yeah. Um, but now they're orange mittens. And so I feel like orange mittens on an orange cat would be really cute. Super cute. Oh hey, we're here again. I remember when that go ah! I'm just getting some, some, some jams. Oh wow, you do that. Yep, I uh, I've been practicing this game, <laughs> like a lot, because uh, I wasn't super great at it before, and I'm not great at it now. But I'm I'm definitely a lot more competent than I was. Yeah. So right yeah, now you're I'm, remembering the buttons. Yeah. Right now I'm going to get uh, another suit, another piece of armor, and then we're gonna go fight the next boss oh so uh i think that i've mentioned this a couple of times before sure uh mike is obsessed with um well i don't know if obsessed is the word, right word he spends like four to ten hours a day playing uh fallout 4 uh, really how that game is like soups old yeah well he point. now they they revamped it so they have survivor mode so oh, he finished no. the game and it, it's actually really easy to finish, yeah. and it's a really quick game. Totally. But they have survivor mode where everybody is as strong as you, and you die really easily, and well, oh, you so go that, back. Oh, that makes the challenge a little bit right, more of a challenge. Right, and you go back to where you saved, and you can only carry as much as a human can carry. That's not too much. No, it's really not. So, like, before, it was like, you could carry 900 pounds of equipment. Like, that's fucking dumb. <laughs> and they don't have fast travel. Oh. And so you actually have to walk wherever you're going. So it's like a more... That's painful. Yeah, it's a really, really long game now. And he plays it so much. But like you find joy in doing other things. Like right now... Oh my God, you're covered in rats. I was covered in rats. Ooh, now the rats that was dead. scary. So there's a guy around to the left here who's a fucking asshole. Watch. Dude, there's always a guy around to the left who's hey a fucking buddy. asshole. Hey buddy, how's it going? You're dead. There we go. Wow. Yep. Oh, he fell to his death. Good for him. And I got another a hunter suit. Sweet. That's what I've been. That's what you wanted. That's what you just went all that way for. Yeah. Well, this coffee is really good, you guys. Thank you. I really like it. I'm having a good time. Um, there's one other thing we can do, I think, before we fight the shadow. Okay. And I. Don't, I'm ready. I don't need these 2,800 souls. Um, do I have a bold? Oh, but anyway, so you get obsessed with like little things in the game. Like what? Uh, like he went around all over the game and collected lab coats and then put lab coats on all of the characters who are selling drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and like he picked on me because when I played Zelda, I would enjoy just sitting for hours cooking. 
<laughs> and he's like, this is not. And I'm like, I'm making really good, like, like food so that when I get hurt, I get lots of like hearts and, and special things. Stars and horses. And he's like, yeah, clovers, he's like, yeah. oh my God, I eat so many marshmallows. Um, <laughs> and so like he picked on me so much and now he's going around doing the exact same thing that I'm doing, um, which is like really obsessing over tiny details. Um, so yeah, he has all of, he has all of the bartenders in old timey saloon clothes. Nice. And all of the med people in, um, in little Latin, coats. Little coats. Um, and the people that sell groceries, he has in like uh, chef hats and things like that. And I'm just like, and because like everything in the game takes so long that you're forced to like slow down and do and like enjoy these things that otherwise you'd just be like, whatever, I got to go to this boss and now right. I got to go to this boss and now I got to kill these guys. It's Well, I mean, you got you to gotta make your own fun in some games. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it's, it's like... Because if you don't, like, so, like a game only lasts as long as you're able to, to find shit to do in it. Right, exactly. And so I think that's the thing with Zelda, where, like, he, like, rushed through and did everything and found everything. And now it's like, well, now what the fuck? And so for me, done? like, because I'd already seen it watching him do it, I was like, well, I don't really care if I discover the whole map. I know what it looks like. I'm going to cook food. <laughs> 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 I'm going to figure out every recipe. Yeah, every combination. I'm like, oh, you know, if you make that fucking, like, that... Stinky fruit. That stinky fruit's good for everything. Dorian uh, durians are yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah, they're great. In that game, it's ridiculous. Yeah, actually. like why are they so good in that game? Yeah, because in real life they're kind of like, uh oh. I don't. I've never had one oh, um, they, because I went to go touch stink. one once, and someone went, "Don't touch that." They smell <laughs> so bad. Yeah, it's, it's sort of insane. Yeah, I uh, I was at a I was at like the Tiger Foods or whatever yep. grocery store um, in Elk Grove and. Yeah, I was like, and because they're beautiful and you're drawn to them. And so I had like both hands out and I was walking towards it. Mm. And my friend was like, no! Sweet, delicious, smelly cactus. Yeah, I really, what could it possibly be? He's uh. like, once it gets on your hands, it never gets off your hands. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. All right, so, guys. Uh, next time on JoJo Has Fun, we are going to... Uh, wait, did we just record for 23 minutes? No, we recorded for like 12. I, I There's some extra time. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, uh, next time we're going to fight the Shadow of Yarnum. And probably going to win. Might win. Might win. Woot. Yeah. All right. That was cool.